Singapore a cat versus Egyptian male cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Singapore was developed in the 1970s from cats found in Singapore, the Lion City, by cat fanciers Hal and Tommy Meadow. Their cats Tickle, Puss, Tess, George, and Gladys, plus Chico, adopted later from a shelter in Singapore, were the foundation of the pedigreed Singapore, although cats like them had probably lived in Southeast Asia for at least a decade if not longer. Brown cats and cats with agouti or ticked coats are common in the region, and there is likely some relationship to Siamese and Burmese cats. The tick tabby gene is dominant to all other tabby patterns and is frequently seen in Southeast Asian cats. Small cats with brown tick coat were known in Singapore from at least 1965. Whether the Mao is a product of thousands of years of Egyptian culture is a matter of debate, but if fanciers of the strikingly spotted cats wish to claim that they date to the times of the pharaohs, well, who knows? It could be true. The Egyptian Mao, Mao being the Egyptian word for cat, is notable for being the only naturally spotted domesticated cat. In other words, the spotting pattern was not created by human manipulation of feline genes. The cats were known in Europe before World War II, but the devastation of the war left the breed in a perilous state. The Singapore has three distinguishing characteristics, his small size of 4 to 8 pounds, big eyes and ears for his size, and his sepia-toned coat that gives him the look of having stepped out of a 19th century photograph. The short, fine coat has a silky texture. Its color is called sepia agouti, described as dark brown ticking on a background color that resembles warm old ivory. On the face, the Singapore looks as if he's been playing in the makeup box, with dark lines extending from his brows and the outside corners of his hazel, green or yellow eyes, dark lines extending downward from the inner corner of the eyes along the bridge of the nose, called cheetah lines, and dark brown lines around the eyes, lips, and nose. In contrast, his nose leather is a pale to dark salmon color, and his paw pads are rosy brown. The Singapore may be small, but he's by no means delicate. His body is stocky and muscular, and his neck is short and thick. Heavily muscled legs taper to small, short, oval feet. His tail is short and slender with a dark tip. The Mao's most striking characteristic is his spotted coat in silver, bronze or smoke, closely followed by his large gooseberry green eyes. He is a medium-sized cat with a muscular body and a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with medium-sized to large ears. With hind legs slightly longer than the front legs, he gives the appearance of standing on tiptoe on his small, dainty feet. A medium long tail is thick at the base, tapering slightly at the end. The medium length coat has a silky, fine texture in the smoke coloration and a dense, resilient texture in the silver and bronze colors. The body is covered randomly with distinct spots that can be small or large, and round, oblong or other shapes. The forehead bears an M shape, the cheeks are adorned with mascara lines and the tail is banded, ending with a dark tip. On the pale belly are dark spots that resemble vest buttons. In addition to the silver, bronze and smoke colors, mouse can come in solid black, blue silver, blue spotted, a dilute version of bronze, blue smoke and solid blue, but these colors are not permitted in the show ring. These cats of a different color make fine pets, however, sharing all the other characteristics of the Mao. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The tiny Singapore has a tiny little voice, but this mischievous and active cat makes his presence known in other ways, chasing small balls down the hall, tap dancing on keyboards, climbing curtains or anything else that will place him on high, or jumping on your shoulder as you walk by to go for a ride. He retains his playfulness well into adulthood. The Singapore loves people and isn't shy about meeting people. He likes being a lap cat and is an excellent bed warmer on cold winter nights. Despite his busy nature, he is a gentle friend who will put aside his activities to keep you company when you're feeling under the weather. The rest of the time? Watch out, he is as curious as cats come and will be into anything that looks interesting. When the Egyptian Mao is happy, you know it. He vocalizes, called chortling, in a quiet, pleasant voice, swishes his tail rapidly, and kneads with his front paws. What makes him happy is being with his family, to whom he is fiercely devoted, or showing off his hunting prowess by chasing and retrieving a toss toy or stalking and pouncing on a wriggling lure at the end of a fishing pole toy. This is a moderately to a highly active cat. He likes to jump and climb and will appreciate a tall cat tree, a window perch or two, and a sturdy scratching post that allows him to stretch out to full height. The Mao also enjoys playing in water. Don't be surprised to find him dipping a paw into your koi pond or aquarium, turning on the tap in the bathroom or kitchen, 
or splashing water out of your pool, or his water dish. The Egyptian Mao prefers family members to anyone else. When he's not playing fetch, he enjoys sitting in a lap and being worshipped, just as his ancestors may have been. The Mao has the distinction of being the fastest domestic house cat, as she can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. The Singapore is short, smooth coat is easy to care for with a quick weekly combing. Polishing it with a chamois will make it shine. A bath is rarely necessary. The Egyptian Mao's coat is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping him indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The Singapura is playful and smart and can be a good friend to a child who treats him nicely. He's one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. Singapores usually get along well with other animals and seem to prefer living with some kind of company, not thriving when left alone all day. The active and playful Mao is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He's smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but loves school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares him, certainly not dogs, and he will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter, however, and pet birds or other small animals are probably not safe in his presence. Always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.